I just had such a good time. got to see my friend Jaden. I love her, but I hardly get to see her because she's so busy. I'm really proud of her because everything that she's busy for is going to benefit her so much in her future. And I couldn't be prouder, but I just, because of that, I hardly get to see her. We got to go shopping. First we went to Starbucks and we both got pistachio lattes. And then we went shopping at the mall. We went into so many stores. We talked the whole time. We both said that we didn't expect to go into that many stores because we were supposed to be just window shopping. She ended up buying two books I think and I ended up buying something that I'm so excited about. I really didn't need to buy anything but I have been looking for something like this and I couldn't pass up how good of a deal it was and how much I loved it. You know when you just see something and you're like that is what I've been looking for but I just didn't know. I didn't exactly know what I was looking for but that is it. That is this shirt. Don't mind that it's super wrinkled. I love it. So it's this huge t-shirt. I wanted a t-shirt that I could wear just around the house, kind of as pajamas or lounge, kind of like a dress t-shirt. This is huge. It's this purpley, burgundy, I don't know how else to explain the color. And then it's just these little dirt bikers and that has some black words on it. I think it's the brand Fox. I just hit my tripod. It was originally $35. I got it for $13.97. I think that's such a good deal and I just love it. I love dirt biking and then me and her started talking about dirt biking and how she also loves it and the guy in front of us was I think because we were talking about I was trying to ask her what dirt bikes her dad has and like which one she rode if it was a 250 or what kind of dirt bike it was and she didn't know and then the guy in front of us I think said something like this is the kind of dirt bike that you should only have but I don't didn't really hear him so we just ignored him because we didn't really hear him we weren't trying to be rude i'm gonna try this on now and hopefully it is long like i think it's gonna be it is long wait i need to put this down so you guys can see it is long enough whoa we are crooked it's like a t-shirt dress i love it oh i get thrown over a bathing suit i just want to wear it to lounge around in the house i love this it's so big and comfy. I don't know how to do a model walk, but... Okay, now my mouth looks so weird. Okay, wait. <laughs> model walk. <laughs> Hi guys. I am so cold. I actually have two sweaters on. I mean, this one's not like a thick sweater. I'm just freezing right now. But it's okay because I'm going to go to the gym and I always get warm when I go there. Like usually I freeze at first, but then I get warm. I'm going to make some protein balls right now because I have no desserts in this house. And I just, I'm a dessert person. I love having dessert and I had chocolate chip cookies, but I ate them all. I wanted to eat one. Like I wanted to make them to eat before I go to the gym. But no, because I forgot that you have to put them in the fridge for half an hour. We'll see if I can like make shift one or if it's too crumbly and it just falls apart. So for this recipe, three cups of quick oats, one cup of peanut butter, but I don't have any peanut butter. I used it all yesterday. So we're gonna do almond butter, which will still be good. It just won't have that peanut flavor. Sometimes it's good to switch it up. And then half a cup of honey and half a cup of sweet chocolate chips. These are so good. Look at how pretty they are. Okay, I'm gonna stick these in the fridge and then we're gonna do a real taste test when I get back. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I just got back from yoga and I'm so happy that I went. I love going to yoga. Every time I like think about going, I'm like, eh and then I go and I love it so I don't know why I don't go more. Speaking of yoga, I forgot to bring my yoga mat spray. It cleanses it. I forgot to throw it in my bag so I'm gonna spray it and then throw it in my bag now so I don't forget I might go to yoga tomorrow. So I'll have that in there for next time. So let's do that. Well, that was a fail. I really want to take down those balloons but I want to do it in a TikTok reset video and I'm hopefully gonna film that tomorrow. Anyway, this is the Mist Yoga Cleansing Matte Spray from Sage. Refresh your yoga mat and accessories with a grounding and cleansing blend of orange, niuli, and patchouli. Mm, how about all of the aromas? We have three packages to open. Well, not really packages, but just products. I'm really excited about these. I was waiting for this video to open them. The first one 
is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I have seen so many good things about this mascara and I think Greta Wilson is her last name, Natalie Zackett, Anna Stowell. I don't know if I'm saying their last names correctly. Anyways, those girls, they live in warmer places in the US and they're all famous on TikTok, YouTube. They all use this mascara because they're going in and out of the ocean and it's just supposed to come off in flakes. That's crazy. Then after I already ordered this, which by the way, this was freaking expensive to get to Canada. So it better be good. But my friend said that she bought this for her mom when we went on our trip to Edmonton. She said that she got her multiple things from this brand for her for Christmas. So she got like this blush stick and she had the mascara and her mom really, really likes it. Let me just say that the packaging is quite awesome. It feels so expensive. Oh, I already have mascara on. This is what the applicator looks like. I mean, I already have mascara on, but so far I like it. I mean, I'll have to see if I like it when I wear it by itself and if it does come off in flakes, stay tuned to be updated on that. The mascara I used earlier today was the telescopic. Then I got these face shavers, which I used to have a bunch of these. I don't know if I just used them all and the blade, I remember one of the blades got rusty, so I threw it out. I like how these have the little safety thing. And I bought these because I kind of have a mustache right here. You can't really see it. I wanted to use one of these. You guys probably can't see that. Stuff is coming off. I am finished shaving my face. You can't really tell on camera. This has been so hard to find. They don't have it anywhere. It's sold out everywhere. So I've just been like, when I go to a store that I know has elf products, I'll just look and check. And I got it at a store that I never go to, or at least like I go to that store, but not that specific location. And they had them fully in stock. I was like, this is crazy. So yeah, I've never tried this, but everyone says it's super good. We're gonna see, I don't have anything on my eyebrows right now because I got them threaded this morning. We'll get to test this out for real. Ooh, it's like a jelly. Okay, a lot comes off at one time. So far, I like it way better than the stuff I have. The stuff I have is just so hard to use. Okay, this stuff gets a 12 out of 10. Have my eyebrows ever looked this good? This one especially. This one is missing hairs. We're not gonna talk about it, they're uneven. I'm trying to grow this one back. Ah, I love all of these. Okay, now I'm gonna put them in my drawer. I actually lied, I just remembered that I have some more little organizing containers in the sink. So I'm gonna wash those and then put them in the drawer with those things that I got. That's what we're gonna do. We just need to take a second for the eyebrows. Let's clean up our mess. These are the containers, and I have to get these stickers on. Companies who do this, you drive me crazy. The sticky stuff never comes all the way off, but it's fine because you don't see that part, but I know it's there and it drives me crazy. Here's the drawer that you guys would have seen in the last video. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? But right here is just where I wanted to add those last two containers, so I'm gonna put them there. Ready? One, two, three. It literally looks the same. It's just these are now more organized and who knows if those will stay there or not. And if you can't tell, I really like Elf. Elf, 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 Elf. I love this, it makes me so happy. Anyway, I'm gonna finish editing my TikToks and have them ready to upload. And then I'm going to edit my YouTube video for this week. I'm going to go on a walk with my friend Haley. Maybe I'll vlog some of that. And then later Dylan's coming over. So let's go and try to edit as much as we possibly can. When I edit, I like to have water and then I like to have a yummy drink. And I think for today's yummy drink, I'm just gonna have the same as what I had yesterday, which was this tea. It's called Market Fresh. It had chunks of oranges, brisk, crisp, sweet, and fruity, tart, summery, apple, hibiscus, roses, cucumber, lemon, lime, orange, tomato. Whoa, tomato. My auntie gave it to me for my birthday or something and it's from a little town close to where we live. I'm gonna make an iced tea of this. I thought that was gonna be a cool time lapse of it steeping or seeping, I guess, because it's not warm, but I didn't put very much tea in it. And so it's gonna take a little while to do that. So I'm just gonna get on working. I thought I would quickly tell you guys what an editing day in my life usually looks like or how I go about that. I try to edit for 30 minutes and then I'll take a five to 10 minute break. Sometimes I don't, but that's typically what I do so that I don't get burnt out and I'm motivated to keep going to track that. 
I'll do a timer on my watch. So I'll go timers. And then because I use the 31 so often, it's just right there. And yeah, that's basically what I do. I thought I would also mention that if I'm home alone while I'm editing, I'll usually put on music videos on the TV. At least that's what I've been doing recently and then it just keeps me motivated. I was really into Kelsey Bellarimi because if you guys haven't heard her new album, go listen to it. There's only six-ish songs, I think. It's about her divorce, but it's really uppity as much as that doesn't sound believable, but it's just, it's really good. And so then it was playing, like after I played those, it was just playing more Kelsey Bellarimi and I was loving it. The lips are really catfish. Hopefully this water will help and we're gonna leave this here. I forgot to mention that I usually put my AirPods on transparency and then I hear it, but I'm also, it's also like kind of canceling it out, not really. That's what I do when I edit. Where am I gonna put the chicken? Said Monday night. It's Sunday night. Tomorrow's Monday. I am so sleepy, but I've been very productive all week long, meeting my content deadlines, and I've just been very good at sticking on schedule plus working. So I should be really proud of myself, and I haven't really had that much time to just sit, take a breath, relax. And I think being bored is really important, especially when you're trying to make content, because when you're bored, that's when you become the most creative and in tune with yourself. I didn't end up filming a Sunday reset for TikTok, which at first I was really sad about, but I just didn't have it in me. And I think that that's totally fine and I can do it tomorrow. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'm going to self tan because I just wanna feel more summery and it just makes me happy. First, I'm gonna dry brush. This is my dry brush. It's bent because I put it in the thingy to dry and it dried like that. But if you don't know what dry brushing is, you can Google it. There's so many benefits, but I do it so that my tan stays on nicer. So I'm just gonna dry brush my whole body and then hop in the shower. I am done putting my self tanner on. I'm gonna be so tan tomorrow. This is what it looks like so far. I am going to get a cold iced glass of water and ice water. I did already brush my teeth, but if I feel like it, I might have a coconut popsicle, but for now, I just really want water. And then I'm going to play some music and do my merch move. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna make a yummy drink. I saw this girl on TikTok make strawberry matcha, fresh strawberry matcha. So we're gonna try and recreate it. I'm really excited. Okay, the matcha that I'm gonna use, like the powder is this David's Tea Matcha Matsu. It says smooth, creamy, and energizing. Then we're gonna use my matcha bowl that my boyfriend's mom got me for Christmas. Cup, actually, maybe I should make this with cup. She gave me so that you guys can see the color. My whisk, oat milk, blender. We need ice. I might need to add the ice later. We'll see. It's so cold in here, and I'm making a cold drink. Strawberry. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need hot water. This looks promising. Matcha spoon. I have two, but we're gonna use the wooden one. It says two to three matcha spoons. We're just gonna do two. Okay, I need to go and edit before I drink all of this because I wanted to drink it while I edit. <laughs> Yum. That was a really big yawn. Hi guys. <laughs> I just finished editing the vlog except for this is my outro. Oh, my leg is itchy. This is so random, but. <laughs> uh, I edited obviously for way too long without taking enough breaks. What is happening? <laughs> the back of my hair. Ah, I'm a mess. Basically, I just edited all day long. I finished my drink 
and yeah thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and yeah thank you guys <laughs> i love all of you bye